priority, that's where you're going to reap the benefits from. Seriously, all serious now. Whatever you believe in, praise the Lord. If God says something, if God says something, God will make it come to pass. Praise the Lord. And I'll tell you something, I, 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 I'll even go deeper than that. If God didn't tell the preacher that, but you believe in God, and you give it according to your faith, God will make it come to pass just because you believe. You understand what I'm saying? Praise the Lord. Sometimes, praise the Lord, God is God honoring faith. Some of them, some of them faith healers can be just as crooked as a three dollar bill. Amen. But it's not him you got the faith in, it's in God. You just being where he is is just a point of contact to believe God. Hallelujah. You know, and I and I tell you what, just because some people don't receive it, it's not that the man of God wasn't right. Praise the Lord. I think it's a matter of how many people actually really believe, praise the Lord, what the man of God say. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you this like straight up on the honest truth. If I tarry with you guys and work with y'all and preach to y'all every Sunday and every weeknight. And then I can't hardly get you to believe God in, through the whole 365 days of the year. Do you seriously think you're going to automatically get a surge of faith one night during one revival here and one man preach? Mm -mm. God going to do it like that? It don't work like that. It don't work like that. Most people that get those kind of miracles, they've been cultivating their ground the whole while long. They don't wait for just one thing to happen. So I can, I can say if the man gave a word and it didn't come to pass for people, I, it could be he could be false. But it also could be, praise the Lord, that the people didn't believe. And how I know I can put it on the people? Because I preach all and I know what I'm saying is the truth. Amen. 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 Come on, son. Amen. I know, I know what I'm saying. It doesn't really matter how they say it, praise God. It's if they say it and God said it. If you don't, God can come down and say it. If you don't believe God, it ain't gonna happen. Amen. That's how it works. Well, so I just know I'm I'm just one of those people. Praise the Lord. If somebody speaks a blessing in my life, I just believe God. Amen. I believe. And then one thing else I know about pro the prophetic word, praise the Lord, hallelujah, things can be symbols, praise the Lord. What do you mean, Pastor Scott? If you look in the book of Daniel, he talked about, amen, how many days, praise the Lord, it would be. But those days was actually translated into years, but it was a symbolic. It was, so if he said a certain amount of days, but it was actually really years, and even uh, theologians and, and preachers, they do those dates and things of that nature. Why is that? The, they, they, it didn't happen in that in the many days that Daniel saw it, but he understood that it was a symbol. Amen. Told him in the book of Revelation, you shall have tribulations for how many days? Ten days. Praise the Lord. Well, that was a symbolic. Praise the Lord. So some things are symbolic. Praise the Lord. What we have to do is, when a word comes, we got to be willing to catch it in our heart and believe it and not let it go. Amen. Ain't no way in the world you can believe God that strong and God deny you what you believe when he said. Yeah. You got to believe God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. No matter justifying anybody that don't say what God said. I'm just saying, check you first. Amen. Don't check the soil. Check you. Make sure you're the right kind of ground. Amen. Talk back to me, church. Amen. Because if you get this word all year long and you still struggling at the end of the year, something you ain't heard right. Amen. Amen. It's not the see, the word will work. Why does it? Why does the word seemingly work for some in the church and don't work for others? Amen. And God says, "I'm no respecter of person." Amen. You understand what I'm saying? It, Amen. God don't have no respect of person. The thing about it is, everybody don't put the value on God's word. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. So when anyone hears the word of the kingdom and understands it not, I got to bring it in. Then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. Yep. Hallelujah. That's the wayside. Mm -hmm. 
All right, come on, go, go to verse 20. But he that receiveth the seed come on. into stony places. In the stony places. The same as he that heareth the word. You hear the word. word. With joy rejoice. And you hear it with joy. I, I love to see people hear the word with joy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You need to have some joy mixed yes. in with receiving the word. Amen. But you got to make sure, praise the Lord, hallelujah, that you let it get deep enough in you. Amen. 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 Or you go telling somebody else what they need to do. You ain't even got it in you deep. Yes. Some of us quote what we heard other preachers say, but we don't believe revelation ourselves. That's why it don't work for you. Yeah. Amen. Just because I quote what you say don't mean I believe it. That's right. It ain't going to work for you unless you believe it. Amen. Amen. I believe God gave me this building. Amen. I walk on it. Amen. Come on, somebody. Yes. When I told the saints that we were going to get it, they didn't believe it. Amen. Mm -mm. Some of them there. Yep. Amen. But God did what he said. That's right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The struggle that I'm going through in this place right now, it's not because God's word ain't true. It's because many times we won't line up with what God's word says. Amen. Wow. Lord, I pray you. He said, hear the word and with joy receive. Read verse 21. Yet hath he not root in himself. Because somebody said you got to have some depth. You got to have some depth. He said he don't have no root in himself. Come on. For, but do it for a while. He only go along the way up that these folk that, that, that a seasonal church goes. Seasonal. Praise God. First three months of the year they come to church on fire. <laughs> Tell everybody what they need oh, to do. Lord. Yes. Next six months you don't see them. Let them stone the ground. The word just told you what it is. Amen. Amen. If that's you, don't get mad. You just you need to change your soil. Amen. Come on, say amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. It doesn't matter how many scriptures you can quote, how much you got. If, if, if praise God, if it ain't deep in you, you're going to only endure for just a little while. Amen. Just a little. That's what the book says. Just a little while. And what happens? For when tribulation or persecution arise, when trouble comes, because of the work, because of the work, and, 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 and praise God, that ain't talking about you went out looking for trouble. Right. Mm -hmm. That means, but because of the word that you have in you, the devil will come after you because of the word. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Amen. I'm not talking about doctrine now. I'm talking about the word, because he wants to stop the word. He don't want the word to be manifested in your life. Yeah. He said, and when it comes, trouble will come because of the word. Uh -huh. yeah. Because somebody said, trouble will come. Trouble will come. Because, because, because of the word. Because of the word. If you got a word, trouble gonna come. Yeah. How do I know I got a word? Because trouble came. Amen. 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 I run around here. You don't understand. <laughs> Nobody understands the trouble I see. Because you got the word. How do you understand? There's a word in you. Amen. God gave you a promise. And the devil don't want you. My God, the reason why he fights you, because he don't want no fruit to come forth. Amen. Because your fruit is your testimony that God's word is true. And he want to make God be a liar. Yeah. Amen. So you got to have some depth. You got to let that thing go down deep. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He said, praise God, he only endured for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises, because of the word, by and by he is what? Offended. I told you an offended person can't get nothing. Yeah, that's right. You're offended. Mm -hmm. You're offended. You can't even tell me why you're mad. You're offended. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You are offended. The word offend means to cause to what? Stumble. Mm -hmm. You fail. And you can't. An offended person, they fall and they can't get back up. Amen. I'm falling and I can't get up. <laughs> You offend. Yes. And you got to remove the offense. Amen. And then you can get back up on your feet. Amen. You got to be honest about what offended you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, glory to God. Yeah. Amen. I am so afraid for people that don't get what y'all are hearing tonight. Amen. Because when this stuff comes, they they're not equipped. Yeah. They're not equipped. And they fall. And they'll walk away from the church and say, you know. I tried that church stuff, but it don't work. Yeah, you tried it for what? Three months? A week? And it didn't work? Did you give yourself to it? Hallelujah. 
Amen. It's like working for a job two days and then get mad because you didn't get paid your full <laughs> salary. <laughs> you ain't put yourself in it. Amen. You pay tithes two times and you're looking for the windows of heaven. The Bible said the window was going to fall out of heaven. And, mother, and some people, they didn't get it because they were robbing God and give that one y'all. They didn't pay their tithes. Amen. <laughs> how you gonna sow a seed and you ain't paying real time? I know that's you right. Know what I'm God always helped me out. Amen. God ain't gonna listen. God ain't gonna overlook Amen. the shepherd of the house and give you a blessing and you in disobedience. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Get the offense out. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. But then look, look at this one. The next one is a, is, a, is, a, is a person that don't clean around that place. They let too much stuff hang around. Read verse 22. He also that receives seed among the thorns. Yeah. Is he that heareth the word. Hear the hear. Listen, every one of these conditions of the ground is fixable. Every one of them. Yeah. And it's your responsibility to take heed and fix it. Amen. Any one of these grounds can be us tonight. Mm -hmm. That's what the word is coming to, to show us where we are. Amen. Am I making sense tonight, Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He, 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 he that received the seed of one of the thorns is he that what? That heard the word. He heard the word. And the care of this world. But see, his priorities is mixed up. When your priorities are screwed up, Amen. Some people want to tell the pastor how to do everything. Mm -hmm. But if you ain't here, how do you know what I need? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. If the money ain't like you ought to do, if you miss it ain't paying no money, who what gives you the right to say how we ought to do money? Amen. Amen. Your priorities is mixed up. Uh -huh. When the care, he said the cares of this world, come on. Show the word. The cares of the world. And the deceitfulness of riches. And Jesus, they're running out the dollar rather than trying to, to run out the dollar. Don't you know when you run out the dollar, when you put money first over God? People say, well, I, I, I don't pray the Lord. I don't put money first. I don't love money. See, I ain't got none of them. That's why you ain't got none of them. Because you're running out the dollar. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Anytime you allow economic income, to affect how you serve the Lord, you putting that first. Y'all yeah. get quiet over there. Amen. Amen. He said, the care of the world and the deceitfulness of riches does what? Choke the word. And what happened? And he becomes unfruitful. And he becomes unfruitful. He can't bear nothing. You know, let me show you. Because see, number two is you got to understand the process of the word. So the first one was pay attention to what you've been talking. The second one was understand the process of the word. And you got to understand that when the word gets in you, the ground has to be correct to go through the process. And in the ground of this thorn, praise God, he's got too much other things occupying the same soil. You cannot allow, amen, other things to occupy the soil of your spirit. Yeah. Because when you allow it to occupy the soul of your spirit, I guarantee you, it, your stuff, it will grow. Amen. It will grow. Have you ever had a plant grow fruitfully or grow up green and not give you no fruit? Yeah. I did. I planted some watermelon. Bless God. And I mean, all the vines came out. I mean, they were growing. They were healthy looking vines. <laughs> had one little small melon growing on the thing, mama. Come back and look, and, and the melon had been rotten. <laughs> Things make it unfruitful. Mm -hmm. Show it. The care of this world. There has to come a time in your life where you put things in perspective and say, you know what? I'm casting all my care upon the Lord, for he cares for me. Mm -hmm. And not worry about it. You have to put certain people that cause you anxiety, you got to cut them out. Yeah. Amen. Well, you know somebody, amen. And, and you know people that like to cause anxiety because whenever there's a witch hunt going on, they always take it on. <laughs> they all they, they won't never pass on nothing good, but they always pass on something evil. Amen. Amen. 
I'm getting ready to expose this. You better pray God don't expose you. Amen. Be careful how you want God to expose other folks when you know you got mess jacked up in your life. Amen. Right. Don't you know you reap what you sow? Amen. 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 Somebody done something wrong to you, so you praying for God to expose them. Amen. Mm -hmm. But the, the stuff that you're doing, you're saying, Lord, hide that, Jesus. Don't tell. No, Lord. Help me. Forgive me, Father. Cover me. Mm -hmm. But then when somebody else do wrong, you want them exposed. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Hallelujah. You hypocrite. Amen. You's a hypocrite. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Sometimes we don't have no love. We want God to kill everybody. Because mm -hmm. they offended us. You ain't God. Amen. You need to forgive. Amen. You know the capacity you receive forgiveness is the capacity that you get that you get forgiven. Mm -hmm. So the forgiveness that you give is the forgiveness that you receive. Amen. And the forgiveness that you are unwilling to give. Is a forgiveness that you're going to be unwilling to get. Amen. That's true. If that makes sense to you. Amen. Are y'all hearing me tonight? Amen. Amen. So praise the Lord. He says, understand the process of the word. But then he said, him that receive seed in the good ground, he that hear the word and understand it, which also bear fruit, bring it forth some a hundred, some sixty, some thirty. God's going to give you the ability to bear fruit based upon what level you is. It is God's will that every one of us be fruitful in our walk with Christ. Amen. But we got to make sure that we don't let what we've heard slip. Amen. Can y'all give me just a couple of more minutes? And I'm, I'm going to turn it loose. Amen. Number three. Don't be a forgetful hearer. Don't be a forgetful hearer. Give me James, the first chapter. Start reading in verse 22. Don't be a forgetful hearer. James 1 and verse 22. But be doers of the word. So now, how do I know that I heard it? Because I'm doing what I heard. Be ye doers of the word. And not hear his own. Not hear his only. You see me also. When you only just hear God's word without, amen, uh, the intentions of doing it, you are deceiving yourself. Oh, yeah, Pastor, that was a long time word. That was it. But you ain't going to do nothing. Amen. You're deceived. Amen. You're deceived. You shout it over, spoken tongue, slob, had to pick you up off the floor because you heard the word, but you ain't going to do nothing with it. If God gave you words and said you're going to be a business owner, why you ain't owning your own business? Amen. Why are you not making money? And then get mad with God when you get to a certain age and ain't got no money. <laughs> it ain't God's fault. He gave, he gave you the word. He gave you a key. But you were too lazy to do what you heard. Amen. Oh, I'm teaching better than y'all saying amen. Amen. And God said he's going to give you an apartment, go get your apartment. Amen. He said God's going to give you a house, go get your house. Amen. 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 My credit jack, we will try to fix your credit. So, and then God will work on the rest of it. Amen. What, you, what you're doing is you're just trying to get by without trying to fix nothing. Amen. Amen. Paying what you owe. Yeah, and still trying to borrow other stuff. Yeah, yeah. Pay your bills. Pay your lines of debt. Amen. Try to clean your stuff up. And while you're cleaning it up, God will work it out. Yeah, Amen. Amen. You're just going to walk in after you've been violating all them financial principles. You're going to walk in and expect God. God is going to go in the computer and mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> he said, praise our God. I leave the wicked borrow okay, and pay him not again. again. Yeah. You got a character issue. Amen. Can't nobody trust you with no money. Amen. They lend it and you don't give it back. You stole it. Amen. 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 I think about Sister Lewis' testimony. How she talked about paying that doctor bill after having their baby. And she said, Well, you know, they, said, well, you know, they don't you know, do bad with doctor bills. They can just put it on your credit and it won't be so bad. But then she said something that let me know that she observes a principle, and that's why you will always be financially blessed. Amen. You said, Praise the Lord, you can't go around here owing people and not pay. 
That's right. Hallelujah. That's true. As long as you keep that mindset and mentality and pass it on to your children, there will never be a financial stronghold. Right. Amen. Oh my God. Amen. Because somebody said, Revelation getting ready to come. Revelation, Revelation getting ready to come. Let me hear what I'm getting ready to tell you in this next minute. Wow. For all of you that owe people and don't want to pay them, hallelujah, glory to God, and you keep trying to get over on the cheap way of doing things, you are putting yourself under a financial curse. Amen. 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 You are putting yourself because when you don't abide by your agreement or by your covenant, you give the devil legal access to fight you in your finances. Amen. Amen. So it is possible that you could skip paying your bills amen, and pay your tithes and still, and still not be, blessed. be cursed. Because, praise the Lord, you are dishonoring of an agreement. The wicked borrow and pay it not again. So what happens, Pastor, if, is a, if you got to pay your tithes versus your bills? I always tell you to pay your tithes, but this is my thing. You should never be in a position where you got to pay your tithes or your bills. Amen. If you got to pay your tithes or your bills, and that means you've allowed something to get out of whack. Amen. And there is no balance. Amen. You, you need to give the most earnest heed lest you let them spill. Amen. Maybe you need to quit going out and eat. Amen. Amen. Talk back to me. Amen. Amen. Yet yeah, we look at what God is mad because God didn't give us what we want yet because you ain't learned your lesson. Amen. 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 You ain't learned your lesson yet. You keep you 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 you're mad at God. You got a word of promise. It ain't come to, you ain't learned your lesson yet. Amen. Amen. You have become a ground that can hold what God is saying yet. Your character hasn't changed. Hmm? Amen. Yes. You know what? In that, in the book, you know that book that you look for? My principal, uh, Monday, mm -hmm. and it said, it was a chapter on um, how we shouldn't be sure to be sure to like, mm -hmm. And he was uh, going into, he was talking about a verse out of Proverbs about how um, if a man makes himself sure to you with a stranger, he's going to yeah, he suffer for it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, this is founded about how uh, when we get into, the, when we sign these financial contracts and say, oh, we're going to pay this X amount of money mm -hmm. and not know what's going to take place in the future, we make ourselves sure to you, you know, suffering for it. In fact, let me give you some wisdom, some understanding, just, just from where I come from. Let's say you're a young man, young woman. Let's say you get married. Wisdom. I didn't do this, so I suffer. Wisdom says when you're young and starting a family, you need to keep your debt low at a minimum. Mm -hmm. You may be making bukus of money. But just because you're making bukus of money don't mean you need to equal your debt load yes. according to the money that you make. That's right. yeah. Because the Bible says you do not know what misfortunes may befall you. Mm -hmm. That's what the book says. Amen. Is that right? Amen. I can't base, if Sister Scott worked, I can't base my bills off of her working. She might get knocked up tonight. Amen. Amen. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's my job as a man, I still believe in the old school, to carry the load. Amen. Ain't no 50 50. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Not getting all of this debt. And what, what, what we look at, Brother Mars, we don't look at the overall cost of the thing. Mm -hmm. We look at well, how, how much, how much can we pay? As long as you look at how many how much the payments is, you'll always be buying. Because by the time you finish paying for that thing, you done paid for it three times. It ain't even worth what you pay. Amen. <laughs> Don't let the word slip. And look, and we're talking about money, saints, but we're also talking about our spiritual life. Hallelujah. Amen. We're talking about praise the Lord. Amen. How? If we're going to build a sanctuary or build a church, somebody got to be blessed enough to give. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. And all Satan wants to do is to get you bogged down in so much that yeah. the moment that the pastor say we get ready to build by this church, 
then something somebody come and prophesy talking about, I see new cause for everybody. You better rebuke that. Amen. Rebuke that because why do you rebuke that? Because even though it's a nice word and you would love to have a new car, it's going to get in the way of you giving to the work of God. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to make you mad when you bring me up less than what I need <laughs> and I tell y'all I need some more money. Amen. Why they, why, why they take up so many offers? Why didn't you give what you're supposed to give Amen. when you gave? Amen. Amen. Tell the church what they need to be doing. You didn't do what was right. Amen. Amen. It's not that the church take up too many offers. Sometimes, right? If y'all listen, if y'all had went, if y'all had went to the temple in the Old Testament, y'all wouldn't have liked it. Cause they were forever taking up offers. They had offers in the women's court. They had the morning offering. They had the evening sacrifice. They had the afternoon. Yes, they did. And the temple was open twenty-four hours a day, so they had to have something there to take care of all of those priests that was working in the temple. Everybody that worked in the temple was supposed to get paid. That ain't going to happen if you don't pay tithe and offering. Amen. Y'all quiet. Amen. The preacher needs to work. He might do, but the Bible said this is his job. Amen. Well, Paul labored with it. That was Paul. Amen. Paul said the labor is worthy of his hiding. Lord, I pray. The enemy wants to get in your personal finances, get in your personal life to hinder you. Amen. Amen. He wants to hinder you because he sees, praise the Lord, the vision. Let me tell you something. Satan got more faith in my vision than you do. Amen. That's why he's hitting. Mm -hmm. Right now. Right now, right now, some of y'all are struggling in your heart whether or not you're going to give right or whether you're going to buy Christmas presents. Mm. Pastor, he asked for this money and it's Christmas time. You get ready to buy chores for children. Yeah. And all they're going to do is tear it up by January 6th. That's my family. I'm just supposed to take care of God. No, sir. God's house is the first priority. Amen. If you take care of God's house, God will make sure your house is taken care of. Amen. And I already got, they got about fifteen hundred dollars worth of stuff on there with. Wow. Wow. Amen. Son. I'm telling you, how did that? We planned how to get in debt. Amen. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if you want to find out what the most broken service offering gonna be, it's Christmas. always Christmas. The offering before yeah. Black Friday yeah. and the offering before Christmas. Yes. Man. It's gonna be the most broken offering. Yeah. And because people ain't got no money, it's because they got their say. priorities. Amen. I challenge y'all tonight. I'm going to stop because I can keep going. I ain't even got my last couple of points. I might, I might finish this next Wednesday night. Lord, 